Hey, welcome, my name is Oli, and today we'll check this, the Zawi U2 wireless gaming mouse. It's Zawi new and second wireless gaming mouse after the ECCW series. This shape is also new in the lineup. So we enter here with this U2 undiscovered territory. I said that because not only the shape is completely new, the whole technical specification and the way the Zawi U2 is built has nothing to do with the ECCW and the older gaming mice. So let's check what makes the Zawi U2 gaming mouse so special. But first let's do a short unboxing. The box is quite big. We have the mouse here, a manual, additional black PTFE skates, the normal dongle receiver and the big receiver which is known to provide a better signal with less interferences and you can use it to charge the battery of the mouse. You also receive one rubber USB cable and one paracord cable. I guess the rubber cable is to connect the big receiver and the paracord cable is for the normal dongle receiver if you plan to use it in wired mode when the battery is empty. Regarding the specification, it looks like Zawi listened to the community. We still have 1000 Hz polling waves, but we finally have the IN3395 sensor. Also, the weight is now lower with a very good and comfortable 60 grams. The Zawi U2 is well balanced. As usual with Zawi, there is no software to change some settings. You can set the polling weights with the button here and the DPI can set with the button here from 400 all the way up to 3200 DPI. But with some key combination, you can also change the LOD. There is also two clicks response time mode, a normal mode and the fast mode. And you can also now turn on or off motion sync. This Zawi U2 comes with a one of good dot ping switches. So let's do a quick sound and quality check. The main clicks feel very good, very spammable as we know from the Wano Blue Pink switches. Almost no pre-travel and just a bit of post-travel but very acceptable here. Also no side play. Scroll wheel feels also very good, the same as on the ECCW series gaming mice. Light with good defined steps. Side buttons are also very good, very reactive. No noticeable post or pre-travel and no shaking buttons. A very good implementation. They have this glossy finishing but feels good. The build quality is insane as usual from Zawi. It's very solid. It feels unbreakable. No creaking or flex. Top quality build. The coating is also very good, very grippy, but it's a fingerprint magnet as we know from the past gaming mice. The black PTFE skates that come with are, as usual, very good. A bit on the slower side, but feels good in games. If you want a faster glide, you should try the white version. Let's move now to the size and shape. This U2 has, as I said before, is a completely new shape from Zawi. And not only from Zawi, but in general in the gaming mouse space. It's a very unique shape, more narrow at the front, it's even more narrow in the middle and then completely flare out at the back with very strong large curves. This type of shape is precisely designed for claw grip users, especially relaxed claw grip. With a length of 124mm, we are here in the medium sized mouse category. With my end size of 70 by 9.5 cm, I can use a relaxed claw grip. Aggressive claw grips start to be a bit more difficult due to the large curves at the back. This U2 kind force you to use a relaxed claw grip. Comparing to similar mice, I will say it's like a mix between the OP1WE and the XM2WE from Endgame Gear. It's like they cut the OP1WE in two parts, take the front, then cut the XM2WE and take the back of it, put this part together and tada, we have the Zawi U2. Ok, it's a bit exaggerated, but I hope you get the idea. Regarding the performance in gaming, I have no issues with the sensor or polling weights. Everything works flawless with the normal dongle and with the bigger receiver. It's a great mouse designed for FPS games, maybe due to the more relaxed slow grip style I will say better for tactical shooters, but I had a lot of fun using it also in games like Apex Legends. 
To sum up, with this U2, Zawi makes a step back from their comfort zone to try something new. And that it's great, because this U2 is, in my opinion, a success. They create this new shape with all the knowledge they have, level up the specification with the last technology, reduce the weight and also the price. With 150 euros or 130 dollars, this U2 is, at the start, less expensive as the ECCW was at the beginning. It may be still a bit expensive probably due to the big receiver, but they listen to the community. In my opinion, this U2 is Zawi best gaming mouse yet, especially for relax low grip gamers. So that is for today, I hope you enjoyed this review, if so please drop a like and sub to the channel if you want more infos, you can also follow me on Twitter or X, where I post some news and what is coming next. Thanks for watching and as always, see you next time, bye bye.